G'day folks, um, just doing a video on how I make my master freshwater test kit last longer and I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I do it. So let's get started. Okay folks, your freshwater master test kit, how to make it last five times longer um, by reducing how much of each chemical you use to test your water. I'll go through each one, um, high range, low range, HP, ammonia, nitrates, nitrites, each one um, test by test and compare each test for you so you can see that it actually does work and um, that way you can save money by making your freshwater master test um, last longer. So let's get to it. I'll start off with um, just the normal HP test and go through high range HP test and then ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. So let's get to it. So the first test we're going to look at is pH, your normal pH, not your high pH, but your normal pH test. So I've filled up one vial to the proper level of where it's got to be, okay? Now, I'll put the measurement, it says on here, put three in, I'll put three into that one. One, two, three. So that's three drops. So that's the normal pH test. Okay, done. So what I'm going to do now is match it up. So it's saying 6.6, .6, roughly 6.6. .6. So we're looking at roughly 6.6. .6. That's the normal test, the normal, normal amount of water you put in for your test to that white level. Okay, to make life easy, I'm not going to show you how it's all worked out to get down to the levels, but your normal pH test is one So your normal pH test is that this test I've got it marked at one and three thirds of a mil. Now the way I get one and three thirds of a mil is I use a syringe and I did one and three thirds of a mil and marked it off. So that's marked at one and three thirds. So how many drops of this do you put in? You put in one drop. So one and three thirds is one drop of this, which equals the same as your normal test. So instead of putting in three drops, I put in one drop of the normal pH. Give that a shake. That is now reading 6.6. .6. So what I've officially done is, instead of putting three drops in, I'm putting one drop in at one, one and two thirds of a mil, which gives me the same test. So I'm saving two drops 
out of that one test. So that's the normal pH. What I'm going to do now is do the high pH. Okay, now we're doing high pH. It says on here five drops to your normal white line on your freshwater test. Don't worry about the little line down there, that was for the um, normal pH. Okay, so you put in, it says five drops. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the normal test you would do at the full range of high pH. Shake it up. And that's telling me it's reading 7.4. So I'm reading 7.4 on the normal test. Now for high pH, we add one mil. So the high pH, we add one mil of water. Okay, so one mil of water for your high pH. Now I've got it marked just a little bit higher than one mil, but it's still going to read the same with just that fraction higher. So at one mil, this reads five drops. If you're putting in one mil of solution, you put in two drops. One, two. So to reduce it, you put in one mil of your tank water and you put in two drops of your high range. And as you can see, it's reading 7.4. So we've got both reading at 7.4 on your high range test. That's how you save your drops, three drops on that one. So that's your high range. So you've got your two, part one, part two. Your normal is part one, eight drops, and then part two, eight drops of your ammonia. So we'll fill the normal one up to the white line. It's your normal one. So to reduce it, what I need to do is put in one and one fourth of a mil. which is to that line is one and one fourth. Okay, now it says part one, eight drops into the normal white line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then part two, it says eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's part one and part two. Give it a little shake. Now it's got to sit for five minutes. Okay, so part one. You're putting in one, two, part two, you're putting in one, two. Give it a shake.
let them sit for five minutes. And bear in mind that one was put first, so it's a little bit darker, but they will even up. So I'll come back in five minutes and we'll check it out. Okay, folks, it's been five minutes. This is your normal range test for ammonia. As you can see, we're reading pretty close to 0 0.25 on the test, in between 0 and 0 0.25. That's your normal up to the white line test. Now this is your adjusted test. And we're reading the same. 0 0.25 to 0. As you can see the colour is exactly the same. There's no difference in colour. So that's your ammonia test and that's how you reduce it to make it last longer. So the next one we're going to do is nitrite. Now it says five drops. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill our vials up to the right levels. Okay, the next one we're going to do is nitrate. It says five drops. Fill up to the normal line for fresh water, the white line, for your normal five drops. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Lid on, give it a little shake, put it down and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, now you need to fill this one up to two mils, where I've got it marked off there at two mils. This one you add two drops instead of five. So the only one you add one drop to is you add one drop to your normal pH. The rest of them is just two drops. So we go one, two. Where did I put the lid? Over there. Give it a shake. And we'll let that sit for five minutes. Okay, so we've just done nitrite. This is the normal test and it's showing zero parts per million of nitrite. So, zero parts per million with the normal test. Now this is the one we added two mils of tank water and it's showing zero parts per million. If we put the two alongside each other, exactly the same, no difference. So, that's your night try test and that's using two drops cutting it down from five drops is nitrate two bottles bottle one bottle two you add bottle one first you add bottle two second make sure you give all these a little shake before you do it so on here we had the normal up to the white line and it says 10 drops. So I'll put in 10 drops. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it says the same for this one, which is ten drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's the normal, normal test, okay? So that's your 10 drops normal. We'll let that one sit for five. Now, in this next vial, I've got one mil of tank water, and you put in two drops of each instead of 10. There we go. One, two. One, two. Put the lid on. Give it a shake. And we'll let these sit for five minutes and come back and we shall check them out. Okay, this is the nitrate test. Let's check out the normal test. It's reading 5.0 parts per million on the normal test after five minutes. The reduced one with two drops and one mil of water is reading the same. 5.0 parts per million. So that's how I've reduced all my testing to make it last like my fresh water thing last longer um, folks thanks for watching I hope everyone got something out of it any comments um, whack down in the comments section um, if you like what I'm doing hit the subscribe button and that bell so you know when I upload more videos so I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I shall catch you later folks Um, I will leave all the figures um, down in the comment section um, so you know what the figures are and you can write them all down. So I'll put them in the information section.